Campaigners and local residents in Bromley say there needs to be severe penalties for the landowner who illegally cut down trees at a local woodland. 131 trees, some decades old, were felled near Cater Park, an area of metropolitan open land which should have the same level of protection from development as the Greenbelt. Bromley Council says all the lost trees must be replaced and compensation paid. Ross Miklashevich has more. A scene of utter devastation. A tree graveyard, a massacre. Just some of the phrases used by conservationists to describe what happened here in Bromley. 131 oak trees illegally cut down. You know, oak trees are some of the most important trees for carbon capture and carbon storage. And that's before you even get into how important they are for nature. You can't just go in and chop down an oak woodland. But that's exactly what happened, even though a tree preservation order was in place, making it illegal. The cutting here on site was done with a mixture of hand saws and chainsaws, but the chainsaw work was done so poorly that in some instances the tree continues to live on, even though it's not upright. I think that what has happened here, you know, it's rightly called the uh, tree massacre. And I would be angry if I thought that somebody could do this, get away with it, we have no repercussions. The leaseholder of the land said they didn't know the trees were subject to a preservation order. Bromley Council have issued a replanting order for all 131 trees, adding in a statement that they are considering all the legal measures they have at their disposal. In many cases, uh, these cases just go to the magistrate's court, in which case there's a £20,000 max fine. However, if it gets to go to Crown Court, and we hope this case is so serious that it will go to Crown Court, uh, that there are unlimited fines. And recently there's been a case in Enfield that the landowner got fined over a quarter of a million pounds. It'll take at least two decades for any new trees to reach the same size as those that were here previously. In the meantime, there remains a daily reminder of what stood before. Ross Miklashevich, BBC London.